you guys had a great week. Today, I wanna go over my ballistic, hel ballistic helmet setup. And the last piece came in today, which I've been waiting all week for it, which I got from OP Tactical. I think I got the last ones out there that are available. And that is the FDE Mark Kit from Unity Tactical. Uh, while I was looking around the internet on YouTube for installation videos on the actual uh, mark kit I couldn't find one that was an actual install video uh, I'll, I've included some pictures of some install parts of it and it's pretty straightforward uh, I didn't have the time to make an actual install video it's actually not that hard uh, I have some stills that I put in front of this um, but here is my high comm helmet I did do a full review on this helmet on for high comm and it's on their blog. Uh, I'll try to put the link down below. If not, the link is on my my website, which is 50 shadesfdecom So this is complete in my eyes, and it took a little work, but I'm glad it's done. And this thing is pretty comfortable as is, and I'll go over uh, why I have it set up this way. So this is the Highcom Armor their light, ultra lightweight ACH helmet, and it is a high cut. So this is level 3A rated, and it weighs in just, you know, under three pounds, definitely under three pounds, so it's one of the lightest helmets um, I've ever had. And having a light helmet's nice, especially a ballistic helmet, when you're gonna add all, all this extra stuff on it, because it adds to the abilities and capabilities for your helmet system, which you can see it's present on here. On top of it um, is the Agilite Tactical Bridge. And the bridge is nice, and I did a review on that on Breach Bane Clear. You could uh, read about that on there. But as you can see, it's a pretty simple system. It attaches to your existing Velcro that's on your helmet. And the back has a pouch for counterweights if you're gonna run night vision, or, or you can store batteries and stuff like that. On top of that, I have the Core Survival Hellstar 6, and that has, the bridge has extra bungee on there to uh, retain that. Moving on to, uh, let's talk about the suspension system. This is a, got a uh, uh, ratchet system in the back to make it extra secure, and the pads are D30 pads, and they're pretty comfortable to wear all day long. And the Peltors are uh, the Compact 3s, which I've showed you in the uh, Ear Pro video. And they're excellent. Um, they're excellent Ear Pro, electronic Ear Pro. Sound quality is great, and they're easier to deal with um, than uh, sword ends or the TCI Liberators when it comes down to doing this kind of thing. Um, let's talk about the install on the marks. The marks are uh, easy to get on the rail. The Peltors are hard to deal with because they come off easy off these clips because you got to rotate them and pull off and do the same thing in reverse. But when it comes time to snap these back on, it's, it's, it's a pain in the ass to say the least. And I have my friend use some pliers while I try to force them, um, force them in and make it easier. I uh, worked on this side fine. On this side, it uh, he was a little bit too strong on the pliers and it snapped this little arm right here. You can see that. It's not a big deal. I went on um, SRS Tactical and ordered some uh, replacement parts. Uh, so that's coming in, but it works just fine uh, with that little break. Um, it's still pretty secure. Uh, the Mark Kit, um, I'm gonna leave them, I'm gonna leave this kit and it's set up the way it is. I'm not gonna take these take these off. Even though the contacts, the headband was made uh, with that in mind, so it was easy to take them off. You don't have to cut any leather or anything. It's all rubber, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. It's, it's, it's a pain in the ass to move them back and forth. So these are gonna live on this helmet, or I can take this um, mark off and then move it on to another helmet if I need to do that. The reason I like to set up over having the Peltors underneath, um, which is the most low profile, but that still pinches on your head on the side and I don't have to deal with the straps. The straps you really have to uh, for these Peltors to fit with the headband 
um, the head strap, I have to loosen them all the way and then put the helmet on and move this uh, strap all the way around the Peltors. Then I gotta tighten them down again. Um, this setup, I'm just gonna, this is how I would have it. And I'm basically, just, when I have to put them on, I'm gonna pull out on the, the ears, put them on. Just like that. And my straps are, they don't need any adjustment right where it should be. Um, a little bit but that's all you have to do before this I had to really loosen them all the way out in order to get the get them around the ear cups so sound quality is great on these and so I like this helmet uh, the way it's set up and this will be my go-to helmet uh, whether I work or um, if I'm going to go shoot I have a bump helmet as well but um, it's only waist, it's just a little bit more than the bump helmet, so this is a good way to go. So here it is um, with me wearing it. This also keeps it level on your head, keeps it stable in a good spot, so you don't have to adjust it and make sure your helmet's level. This kind of does it for you, and it's pretty comfortable to wear. So on top of the uh, market, I also have the Unity Tactical Remora, and that just goes in between the, the kit itself, and it comes with extra screws that are they're long enough, and that comes with screws to mount the, this is a Surefire uh, M300V Vampire, so when I do use night vision, I do have an IR light that's on there higher illuminator so it adds a little bit more visibility or I just leave it on the white light and I have a hands-free uh, flashlight to deal with if I need to do anything in the dark. Overall I'm happy with how it came out and this is a great setup that you don't have to do anything to it. You got your pro on you. Like I said in your pro video um, the drawback to having these is if that's your only set of ear pro you're kind of stuck with having it on so if you're at the range and you want to take it off um, for any reason you lose your pro with you it's not a problem for me I have another set that I can just have with me that I can just throw on real quick as, as soon as I take this off all right guys if you got any questions um, oh yeah I uh, I got the remora and mill spec retail they're good uh, little shop they pretty much have they care out of good brands of uh, equipment accessories and they did have the the um, marks in stock but they're only black I, I had to look everywhere for um, the F ones in FDE so I think I got the last one from OP tactical because um, I checked now and drop they're out of uh, sold out um, and again this little fuzz stuff right here is from dynamic fuzz and if you got some contacts that have uh, extra cables and wires, they actually have a, a cover that goes on top of it um, so you can manage that wire. I got these because I, I don't need to hook this thing into any communication systems. I just need it for hearing protection. And that's my setup. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll keep on making more videos as long as I have time.